A-I-T-A. Am I the a-hole for barring my husband from the bedroom tonight? So here is the situation. Me, nurse. Working 5-0 ISH hours a week in pediatric ICU. Cry at least once a week because that shoot is hard. My salary pays our bills. All of them. Husband, 25M has a degree but isn't looking for a job. Works two days a week at the grocery store. Spends most of his time playing, lol. BTW all events here are in accordance with COVID legislation. Today was supposed to be a good day. I had been begging my husband to swap his Saturday shift to literally anything else so that we could have days off together. We haven't had a weekend together since our wedding, 1-8-M-O ago. Today was supposed to be our first Saturday off together. We were going to go to an animal sanctuary. He starts the day by going to breakfast. With his best maid. Leaving before I even wake up. I wake up around 9 and realize he is not home. Call. He says he's helping his mate set up some lights and that the weather is too rainy for the animal sanctuary anyway. He gets home at 1 ish. Lies around. Plays some video games, promising we would cook dinner together tonight. Leaves again at 5 to help the same mate with something else. I go grocery shopping. I don't drive because of medical issues, but I walk there and back in the rain. I get home, realize I've left my keys inside. Call husband, knowing he's 5 minutes away. He says he will leave in a minute. I sit in the rain and the cold, southern hemisphere. 45 minutes later, I call again. He hasn't left yet. He finally agrees to come and let me in the house, so he drives up, presses the clicker to let me in the garage and leaves again. At 10, I, I called to see where he is. His friend answers. Says he is driving out to do something an hour away. It's 10.30. I am going to bed. I have sent him a text that I am upset and don't want to speak to him tonight and would rather he left me alone. As far as I am concerned, if he can't value me more than his best mate on the first day off he and I have shared in a year and a half, he can go sleep in his bed instead. BTW, his friend doesn't work, so they hang out all the time when I am at work. He is going to be upset. And he is gonna tell his mate and his mate is going to tell him I'm being a bitch. A-I-T-A? Am I the a-hole? Adding some info, I am 26. We weren't always like this. I don't know what changed. I'm fairly confident he's not having an affair. And I fully intend on talking this through, but at a time that isn't 4 a.m. Also the crying, sick babies sometimes make me sad, and I love all my patients. That's why I cry. And I don't mean hours of sobbing. I mean stepping into a supply closet to take a moment before getting back to work. Also thank you for your kindness. I was expecting maybe five replies. I am trying to respond as much as I can. But there are a lot of you. NTA. Not the a-hole. I'd ban him for more than one night? What kind of thoughtless behavior? Sounds like there are bigger issues surrounding his job too. Have you spoke to him about finding a full-time job? It's not fair that he's not pulling his weight. NTA. Not the a-hole. My first reaction is who's he seeing on the side? If he's spending his free time with his mate, is his mate just providing an alibi? When you call and he's not there, how convenient is the mate's response? That's not a husband it's an overgrown child. If he can't spend one day with you in 18 months and chooses to spend that day with his friends then kicking him out of the bedroom isn't going to change his behavior. He needs to start making you, his wife a priority or he needs to pack his shit and leave. He doesn't work and isn't looking for work. He spends all day every day hanging with friends or gaming while you work your ass off helping others and paying bills. Couples therapy isn't going to change that as he probably believes you are overreacting and he has done nothing wrong. Sorry to sound harsh but you married a dud. 
he's lazy and inconsiderate. Personally I'd throw the whole man away and start again. Nta. Not the a-hole. Nta. Not the a-hole. I don't want to upset you, but you do have to consider that something more is going on than just your husband spending a lot of time with a pal. There might be some extramarital activity going on, and the friend is acting as a front so your husband can carry on with whomever without you finding out. You know your husband best, but if I were you, I'd be suspicious of his behavior. Why are you still with this man? He does not care about you, in fact he's more concerned about this friend than he is you. He is working two days a week and plays video games the rest of the week. I'd love to hear an explanation for the logic there. Does he do chores? Run errands? Anything to help his partner's day be a bit easier? Does he even enjoy being around you? NTA. Divorce him. Your life will be the same as now, except that you will have more money because you are not paying for home to life a life of leisure. Or don't. And decide you want to years down the road. And by then you have to pay him alimony due to the length of marriage. You deserve someone who prioritizes you. NTA. You don't need Reddit you need marriage counseling. NTA and you deserve a better husband. I did this, well cohabitated. Not married. I worked full time. I worked on my master's degree. I commuted three hours a day. He, watched TV and surfed the web and looked for work. I footed the majority of the bills, when his car broke it was $700 and his parents paid for that. He came from a good family, he graduated from a well-respected college. He said he wanted things to be better for a long while. Six years for it to fully fall apart. One year to get that mooch out of the apartment. The crazy thing is three months after we moved in together I realized we were not on the same team. I wanted to break up. But everyone talked me out of it. Saying they knew he was about to propose, he never did. How I kick myself not for ever being in the relationship, but for letting it go on for so long. He is not a partner to you. He's a roommate. Charge him rent. NTA. This is one of those scenarios where I can't even say, you need to communicate with him, because it's so blatantly frocking obvious what he did wrong. He doesn't value your time together at all. Clearly this is your first marriage. Good luck on the next one. Why would you be the a-hole here? What is your husband doing and why is he working at a grocery store two days a week when he could work? Why are you supporting his ass? NTA. Are you sure he isn't cheating? At this point, does it even matter? He's a useless sack of crap even if he isn't cheating. Leeches off of OP, specifically works the only days she has off, and no more, disappears for entire days and leaves his phone at his friend's place while he drives an hour away. I wouldn't be surprised if his job didn't even exist, if they keep their finances separate. Two questions. Why the heck are you with this childish and uncaring partner? Are you sure he's not frocking someone else and using best mate as a cover? Because his actions how he sure as hell doesn't want to spend quality time with his wife. Yeah. NTA. Edit. OP, you also have to realize it's not accident you spend as little time together as you do. He actually prefers spending time with others while you financially support the household. I'm going to guess that your medical issue is epilepsy, considering that you're healthy enough to continue nursing, and 50 plus hours slash week at that, because you're unable to drive. Coming from a background of having a chronic disability, I can attest that it frocks with your self-esteem. Honestly, ridiculously low self-esteem is the only reason I can think of, that you would stay with him. Some points to consider. Despite working in a grocery store and being the driver in the family, your DH, dickhead husband, 
didn't bother getting your shopping in, even though you'd worked all those hours and he quite literally didn't need to make extra effort because that's his frocking job. When he came back in, he suggested that you cook together, rather than him cater to you. Considering the rough time you've been having, putting your life at risk to take care of poorly children, he should be kissing your frocking boots. Knowing that he hadn't done the shopping, he still left you to walk to the shops in the pissing rain, for the food that you were expected to make. When he has a car. Let that sink in. He either couldn't give a frock that you were locked out in the pissing rain, with a medical issue, enough to leave you sitting there for 45 minutes when he was only 5 minutes away, or he wasn't where he said he was. My gut reaction is that it was the latter and you should be asking yourself why he would lie about where he was. He knowingly and deliberately ruined your plans for the day, didn't bother making any new ones, and had the audacity to leave you with expectations of spending some sort of time together. So that you couldn't make plans, or enjoy your day off either. You had to beg the man that supposedly loves you the most in the whole world, to spend one day with you, after 18 months. Despite making a vague plan to cook together later, he dumped you for the entire evening and night. So you had to make your own dinner and eat alone. He didn't let you know when he'd be back and didn't even have the courtesy to answer his phone. The fact that you expect him to be angry with you for daring to set consequences for his disgusting behavior, and that somehow you should give a frock what his friend thinks of same, suggests that this isn't new behavior. Honestly. It sounds like you've been gaslit and brainwashed into thinking that your valid AF feelings and issues with him, are crazy. Sweetie, if he's told you that nobody could love you slash he's a saint for putting up with you slash you deserve this treatment, because of your illness, this is emotional abuse. Have you honestly looked deeply at why you cry so much? I think you'll find that it's not solely because of your work and likely heartbreak at being made second best, despite how much you're putting into your marriage. You don't need him, you can't count on him, you're being mistreated and you deserve so, so much better. It does sound like he's cheating on you and he's most definitely using you. So ask yourself, why do you stay? NTA 1000%